Hello everybody, um, today we are actually going to be doing something a little different, something Mr. McCormick has done, but it was more of a room tour, but this is more of a plush collection tour, but this is just my plush collection, not Mr. McCormick's, but mine. So we're going to start off with the shelf that doesn't have that much unique characters, it's mostly like brand new ones and stuff like that, and like some bootlegs and all of that stuff, because I don't want bootlegs on my shelf of like rare and good looking plushes, but all of these are good looking, but like I'm just, well you get the picture, but anyways, um, here's my shelf with all, some of them, some of my Mario plushes, as you can see, I have the kitsune suit luigi i actually have two because this one's like a better looking the other one i had was like really ugly which you can see back there and i also gave it the cape you can barely see it but i also gave it the cape that it has like in mario 3d world which is a nice little or mario 3d line i mean which is like a nice little touch mr mccormick got like a tanuki mario so i'll need to do the same thing with his second or first one in the future and you can see here i have my fake jungle shy guy this one's not holding up too well well you can see i cut off the spear like a couple of years back to use it like on one of my kirby plushes but then i ended up losing it and then it has a rip on its leg which just makes it even more worse and then we hear some of our toads you can barely see them because they're getting like all covered and all of that this shelf's a little messy so please don't mind that you can I have like a custom green toad deck here, and I also have the fake all-star toad deck, and a few all-star toads like the blue, yellow, and red, and I remember getting those a while back, which is pretty nice, and of course a bootleg Mario Party 5 toads with plush, which I have over here. Ooh, uh, this holds up so many memories, and I'm so glad it has not torn yet. I'm saying yet because it could just one day all fall apart because of how cheap it is. And then here I have old Shy Guy. that has beans. I really love this old Shy Guy and stuff. It's not holding up too well, but it's still pretty good. I really love this old Shy Guy. I'm not sure if that one's the Sine, a localized one, or a little buddy. Because you can see that the tush takes off. I ripped it off a long time ago. And I have a Captain Toad. And I also got an All Star Babam. And you can see here, old Blue Toad. I'm not really a fan of that one. I'm more of a fan of the Wii Toads. Because that blue one looks just different, odd looking. I still like it, but it's just not that good for me. And here we have the Baby Brogues and the Baby Girls. So to start off, we have Baby Rosalina. She is really nice. It's almost going to be a year since we got her. But if you're watching this past December 25th or on December 25th, it's been a year. This Ros baby Rosalina has held up really good condition. This baby peach, this is the all-star baby peach. We maybe get the old one in the future. Still not sure. Maybe. With the old babies. And then we have all-star baby Luigi. All-star baby Mario, which I really like, and baby Luigi, and one of my favorites, baby Daisy. I really love baby Daisy. She's holding up really well. I like her. Hopefully, we can show all the baby bros in the future videos, and I'm pretty sure these three, it's been a year since I've had, this is coming up in then like February, I'm pretty sure January, it's gonna be a year for that, and then we have paratroopa which you can barely see over here cat toads back here my goldie mario and the ugly ugly fake larry this is what i did like in 2019 early 2020 before we had real one and i always want to trim the eyes and then move them over here because it looked fine but yeah it's just an ugly ugly bootleg we don't recommend it and then mario party 5 donkey kong whatever it is bootleg i don't know if it is or not still but um here we have i'm taking away baby daisy because i'm gonna showcase all the wigglers we have these are all the wigglers i have and yes i own all of them you're probably wondering like wait how come you have two of the same well believe it or not this is actually a bootleg we've stated that in past videos and like the unboxing this thing is really fake ugly it's my first wiggler and i still love it and then here's old wiggler which looks similar it's not in the greatest condition because, well, it came with stains and stuff. And if you watch the unboxing, you'll see how it was wrapped, like, in a U shape. And then the All-Star Wiggler, which is also very nice. So, yeah. Then we are just going to take a snap back and move to the next shelf with just a snap.
So now this is the bottom part of my shelf, which is not really Kirby, but it's a mix of Animal Crossing and, or, well, it is Kirby, I mean, but it's not really Mario plushes, but this is a mix of Animal Crossing and Kirby plushes. So to start off over here, you can quite see that I have a lot of all of these. All of them are fake except for this one and the All-Star one that I have that's buried somewhere. And the fake Waddle Dees, I have so many, so now they're besties and all of that. Dr. Kirby, Megalore, Ice Kirby, Sword Kirby, fake Waddle Dee, Meta Knight. I have a Scarfy over here. I also have a old Kirby, you can barely see, a Tom Nook. Old Waddle Dee is hiding somewhere, I think he's like back there. Sorry about this, and then I have a few custom Cappy plushes of Kirby, because when I was, I was really into hand crafting plushes like two years ago, and maybe I'll get back to that with Mario and Kirby to make more customs in the future. And now let's move on to the next row, which you can see a uh, nude Kawasaki, a uh, fake Kawasaki, and a real Kawasaki. This one's fake. We ripped off its clothes for some reason. That sounds very weird. But yeah, we ripped it, its clothes off. And then now it's a naked Kawasaki. And we have a, we got another fake one. Because we knew it was fake. But then we got a stock image of the real one. But then we still got another fake. Which I didn't really care. That I decided in the summer of 2021. A couple of months back. I decided to get the real one finally. Here's fake Waddle Doo. A custom from the Kirby anime show. And Paracel Kirby, I got him like for $40 at that anime store. And Marks, he was the one with the Kawasaki, which I really enjoy Marks. Fake Waddle Doo. Cutter Kirby, tough plush from the Kirby anime, S. Cargoon. DDD and Tiff, and if you've been wondering, oh yeah, the main Kirby himself, this one's really worn out. And if you've been wondering where Kirby series is, well, I don't know. I'll probably get back to it someday. But now let's take a look at the two other cubes, which are back to Mario plushes. I really love my Kirby plush collection. And um, yeah, these are my second shelves of plushes. So now it gets a little interesting with the plushes. These are really interesting because some of them are rare. But um, like with the Marios now, it's getting like a little interesting with the plushes. So the first cube, we have real Nabbit. Sean has fake Nabbit. So we finally decided to get real one. And it has its tush tag and everything. So really glad that we got him. He's really nice. Bean bag. I like holding this purple rabbit. And here is Monty Mon. Extremely rare. Goes for like about $200. So we got them for $13 on Amazon. But since they stopped selling listings of him now. You're going to have to deal with this guy like for $100. And then pretty soon before we know it. It's going to be like that Mellow plush. That's $30,000. Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong. Here's our Diddy Kong. We got him. He was our first Kong. Um, yeah, that's kind of an odd choice because Donkey Kong was never out of stores, but this thing was. <laughs> All Star Pokey, which is not rare anymore, but he usually went for like $30. We have All Star Goomba, Paragoomba, and the old Koopalings, which are still pretty good. Like, old Larry's back here, old Morton, and old Wendy, which I use, like, for the TikTok videos sometimes. You can't really tell the difference. But now, this is getting to three classic characters, which are the All-Star Kamix. You notice how we changed to the old ones, because we like the old ones better. But, yeah, you're wondering, hey, what, what's up with this purple one? Well, it was our second old Sally that retired, like, a couple months back. We decided to paint to give it some new clothes. Now it's purple, green, and then of course our original one we got in 2019. It's unlocalized one, and yeah, that is pretty nice because yeah. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention Big Boo. He's over there on the other shelf, but yeah, I mentioned Big Boo because now we're getting into the boos. So here's All Star Boo, and here's my favorite balloon, the Popco Balloon Boo, which is really nice. I like his tag and all that. And then we have All Star Fuzzy. We, I have two. Um, um, this is one I have brand new tagged still. And then we move on with All Star Iggy. And then, oh no, not All Star Iggy. This is old Iggy and old Roy. They're still pretty holding up really well. This one still looks like All Star one kind of, but others I've seen look like fake. Now let's go up to the other shelf. 
which is also like a like a space galaxy theme i guess you could say because everybody's like blue black purple navy blue and like turquoise but this is mostly the rosalina and princess section not really princess section because there's princesses up there and stuff but um start off i have my one two three I even have to count five All-Star Rosalina plushes. This one's Fire Rosalina, and this one's Aurora Rosalina. From Mario Kart Tour, Mario 3D World, and Mario Kart Tour. And Cat Rosalina, All-Star Waluigi. Hey, where? That's my Waluigi voice. Um, yeah, <laughs> Ice Mario. We made him a while back. I like Ice Mario. Wintertime Peach. I don't know why we didn't use her for the Peach. But for the fall episode, I forgot to pack her in our bags and stuff to film. So I don't know how I forgot her. And uh, my first custom Mario plush, which is a custom Luma, which is really nice. It's someone that Rosalina is with. This is our main Rosalina. So yeah, Rosalina and Luma. So now let's go to the second shelf, which is a plant family, because everybody is plants. There's Dino, PD Piranhas, Dino, Chini Piranhas, whatever. But yeah, there's like multiple piranhas. So here's ugly, fake PD Piranha. And here's nice, real, pop go PD Piranha. Sorry about this fake one, it's just really ugly. And then Old Sene. Old Sene. Old Sene. Piranha plant. Brand new tag. And then we also have the All Star Piranha plant. And get up. And Dino Piranha, which is really nice. I'm, wait, it has a tear on the ball and the tail at the end, which sucks. But now we are getting into all the rare plushes, which is really, really nice. So, which cube should we start with? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I picked the very best one, and you are it. Okay, so this is our cube with the SML characters, basically. This fake pink nose bowser we don't count that but yeah here's pink nose bowser yeah i want to get the real mario party 5 mario to replace the real one mario party 5 but well maybe the bowser would go up here well i can't show it yet but yeah here is the goldie koopa the luigi's mansion set with luigi with the poltergeist and the polter pup and here is 2011 junior i got them for barely 35 dollars it came like in like new condition, it said like used, but then it doesn't really look like it. And now I just have my three Cody's, I mean Candice, I mean Camix, three old Camix. And then my next shelf is with Bamprestos and Old Sine's and Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story plushes and all that good stuff. Take that hair off, Poochie, he doesn't need to be infested with hairs. But yeah, here is the Yoshi's Island DS set. As you can see, I have all of them brand new tagged, and I got all of them like for $10 each, which it would really be like $400, $300 right here just on four of these brand new. Just on all of them, all of them, I mean. So here's green, yellow, pink, light blue, red, black. Light blue, white, and then we have the Bampresto. Bantam! And she's holding her egg. She's in a classic style, but if you think that's weird looking, take a look here. That's her artwork for Mario All Stars. Old Yoshi. I remember getting him for Christmas 2016. Yeah, I remember getting this fella. I've been telling Mr. McCormick like since 2019 that this was the All Star one, but then I didn't really know my plushes when I told him that. And here is All Star Pucci. I got him like in July. And he is really nice. I love this little, little pup. He is so adorable, so soft, and yeah, he is just really cute. Look at that tongue. And then, one of our main stars that people really love, and she came out to, oh, time to rock and roll. Berto herself. So this is the old Berto. We had the fake one for quite a while, and then we finally got the real Berto, and then we have the infamous, famous Baby Yoshi plush, which is custom, not made by me, but custom, from an eBay seller. And then the Tefita Bamprosa Yoshi, we got a brand new tag, and that is pretty cool. So these are most of the Yoshis I have, but we're gonna show three up here, which is now 
the final shelf. I also forgot to mention the other more pretty fine peach that's like bootleg or whatever. I don't know. I forgot to mention that. But now here is everything. This is real. This is brand new. This is like really real. Look how good it is. But yeah, this is a real more pretty fine peach. I got it in no wait October. Yeah, October. And it is really nice. Like look at its tush tag. It is like so nice. And look at the hair detail. Just take a look how beautiful it is. This is a real more pretty fine peach. Really, really nice. I'm so glad I got the real one. And here are the two Super Mario Bros. Wheat Toads. You can't see the yellow one. Right here. Yeah, there's the yellow one. We have Bam Presto Toad. Which is really, really nice. I like his design. It very accurately captures how he looked in the old games. Here's All-Star Toadette. And here is All-Star Mario pa I mean, Mario Party 5 Toad, not All-Star Mario Party 5 Toad. Watch how I talk. But yeah, Wedding Peach, I forgot that. I totally forgot about Wedding Peach. I think I miscounted some plushes and I was trying to bring the grand total. I think I forgot to get her Wedding Mario and all that. But yeah, here is the Mario Party 5 Peach. I mean, <laughs> uh, what is up today? The Wedding Peach. It's the Wedding Peach. And I really, really love her. She is really nice. And then... Kelly Toy Luigi, I got him in a lot. Yes, he's brand new tagged. No, I did not get him for $150 or almost $200. No, I got him in a lot with other Kelly Toy ones and the fake pink nose Bowser for only $65. It's pretty cool, right? And then I got the Mini Mario Party 5 Yoshi, I got it for $15 and it's a brand new tagged. I got the used Mini one for $50, which is still a really good price. Price and I got this Yoshi, this small MP5 Yoshi brand you take in a lot for 30. That's how I got it for only four dollars. I basically did too because if they sold the plushes separate, then four dollars, five dollars, whatever. And then now the one I love the most is Old Fuzzy. I love this one because this was one of the first releases you can see here and all of that and all its glory. I really love the Old Fuzzy, it's so cute. You need to buy one for yourself. But yeah, and then we have Pom Pom Pacheco, Miss Pacheco herself. Pom, it's really Pom Pom Martinez, not Pom Pom Martinez. I said that weird, but yeah. And then we have the, um, see it's tag, it's a Kelly Toy Mario. 16 inch, yeah. It's a 16 inch Kelly Toy Mario. I know he looks like a zombie because of how pale he is. But yep, I like this Mario. I really like it. I like how it looks and stuff. It actually it accurate, accurately captures how he looked back then. He looked like that back then. And it looks really accurate. And Wedding Mario is over there. No, not Mario Party 5 Wedding Mario. I mean Wedding Mario 2017. And then we have the two Kelly Toy Lewises. Well, they're Wario, of course, but we call both of them Lewis because each of them are. Lewis, um, Wario's granddad, or grandpa, whatever you want to call him, and then last but not least, we have the new Super Mario Bros. Wii Mario. He was brand new tag, but we decided to cut the tag off. Um, one well, of my plushes fell, and it was the band Presto Toad, so I'll have to pick that up behind my bed. But yeah, I also forgot to mention we had the band Presto Little Shell Mario, which is a really, really good plush, but you notice he's not here because. He has a string. He's tiny. We put up a Christmas tree, so I think you guys know what I'm getting here. We hung him on the Christmas tree because he looks like a nice ornament because he has a string. No, I'm not gonna hang these because they don't have them on the things. Not the bound presto toad either because he would definitely. Well, in fact, I should actually hang the bound presto toad now on the tree. But yeah, while I go and hang him on the tree, this pretty much wraps up the video. And yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching my plush collection tour of my Kirby, Animal Crossing plushes, Mario plushes, and all of those unique plushes. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the 2021 plush collection. And a heads up, we're like three weeks away, everybody. Three weeks away from beginning production on the plush collection 2022. Three weeks away. Those three weeks will go by pretty quick. Let's hope we got... Oh, we probably... Not, I'm get, expecting two lots from Japan. They're gonna take a long time to come, so they're probably not gonna be in the plush collection, which is gonna suck. So I'll have to wait till 2023. Sounds very weird, 2023, till we have to showcase them in the plush collection. But, anyways, that wraps it up. 
And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.